All right, so this was not a planned episode, um, but I have to get something off my chest, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I wake up on Saturday morning, happy it's the weekend. I go to the bathroom, do my business, go to the kitchen, make my coffee, and then I go to the living room, plop my ass on my recliner, and as my coffee was brewing, I checked my messages. As I go through them, replying to each and every single one, one particular caught me off guard. Someone sent me a screenshot of a tweet made by Jason Baldwin, one of the people in the West Memphis Three. At this point, I think I made it clear who they are in several episodes, so I don't see the need to go back into that. But what Jason posted put me in a rare mood, maybe because I didn't have my dose of caffeine. He went on this rant about how he has zero respect for anyone who disparages Pam Hicks, a grieving mother, who faced the evidence of their innocence, which I find incredibly ironic, since Jason, along with those two other useless mouth breathers, were never exonerated or found innocent of anything. To this day, since their conviction in 1994 and their plea in 2011, those asshats are convicted child murderers. Not based on a technicality, but based on law and fact. Now, before I go any further, allow me to control my gag reflexes by saying I agree with Jason on anyone disparaging Pam Hicks. Although I disagree with her so-called conclusion that the West Memphis Three are innocent, a minority opinion of all the parents, no one should go after her. But let's be honest. Those den of vipers took advantage of her. Their little team... They knew her demons and her struggles, and it was exploited. And that's as far as I'm going to take that. But out of all the things Jason said, he said she deserves better. Again, I agree. But I find his remarks audacious and rich. Yeah, she does deserve better, and so did her son, when he brutalized him along with his other two loser friends. Christopher Byers and Michael Moore deserved better too. Their families deserved better. And while I understand this clown fools a lot of people with his self-righteous diatribes, he doesn't fool me with it, and I know I am not the only one. To make himself a white knight off the murder of her son along with Christopher and Michael is beyond a level of sickness and depravity that I ever knew of, and it was pretty beyond that from the start. Now the next thing. I am not going to name names, but hopefully they get the memo. If I lose friends over this, then oh well. It is what it is because my goals have never been to be popular but to tell the truth. To those who retweeted Jason's sanctimonious little rant, those who crusade for ethics and true crime, you might want to take a step back and ask yourself, did I just retweet a manipulating child murderer? Ask yourself, how much do I really know about this case? You see, influence has responsibility and accountability. These are heavy subjects, and we cannot afford to get it wrong no matter what we've accomplished. Right is right, wrong is wrong. So, to those who preach ethics, do better. And to Jason Baldwin, who he claims he loses any respect for, I have no respect for you, a no-good child-murdering bastard. I see right through your facade of justice along with your allies. And that's all I got to say.